are live with some more Wonderland Adventures, custom adventures. I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into it today. Um, I think I'm going to be playing a few more of Nasco's levels this time around. Uh, but before I do, um, I received a request for a specific uh, adventure. Let me just uh, go ahead and see what it is again. <coughs> yeah, from Lazy Loop slash Aryan. Uh, to try my first adventure. So I don't know which username is going to be used. Probably Aryan. So let me just. Uh, here, let me just sort. <laughs> that way I actually know. Alright, so. Aryan, here we go. Uh, my, my first adventure, rescue mission. Surprised it wasn't rescue mission. Like the misspellings from Wonderland Adventures. <laughs> Alright, so Aryan's first adventure. You were playing hide and seek with the Wee Stinkers. Unfortunately, some monsters stumbled upon your game, so you end up onto rescuing those Wee Stinkers. Hello, Kao. Welcome to the stream. I'm playing some of the Wonderland Adventures today. Alright, so we got some... What the heck is my controller doing? Oh, it's because I'm pushing down right. That's why it's doing two moves at once. I was going to say, hopefully my controller isn't bugging out. That'd be bad. It would be bad indeed. Alright, so I got some flash magic. So let's analyze the level. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, human gamer. I can't, I forgot about your stream, but Eric just got a notification and told me... And I'm like, oh yeah. So hi. Hello. And also thank you for the one bit. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is, the notification. I was going to say, like, I remember on my last stream, the notification sign wasn't coming up. And I was like, what the heck? But looks like it's working now. Alright, so what is the goal for this? Uh, it looks to me like I need to make sure I flash a spiky ball onto the buttons so that they keep... The spiky ball keeps the button up, the bridge up for a short time. Not sure or how long I'll be here, FYI. That's alright. <coughs> oh, excuse my coughing. I don't know why it's this bad recently. Hopefully I can find a cure for it soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that, that's not much time. Oh, I gotta flash it again then. I gotta keep flashing the spiky ball in order to keep the bridge up. I see. I see, I see, I see. So I should probably save. Not restart. Alright, uh, I still have uh, a save for the adventure for the keys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna complete this adventure, mainly because I got stumped on one of the sections. And I just wasn't sure what to do, so we'll see if I feel like continuing that adventure. Are you sure? <laughs> Alright, so flash it over here. Flash it again. Go get the coins. Flash it again. Save. Are you sure? Uh now where am I headed? How do I get to those gems? What the heck? There we go. Uh, by the way, Kim, how capable are you of be beating club step in one attempt on Geodash? Uh, probably not, probably not that. <laughs> probably wouldn't be able to do that. Now, thank you for the one heart bit, KO. I'm sorry I haven't been in your server lately. I will, uh, I, I might try to be a little bit more active later on. Have my penny. Thank you for the penny. It hit me right in the forehead. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna flash this one more time, and then I think I won't be able to flash it anymore, so I'm just going to... There we go. Ah! I miss. Alright, so... There we go. Uh, flash it again. Gosh dang it, I can't... Multitask like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright, try it again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Having fun with emotes. Save game. Are you Save sure? Game. Okay, I got a speed run. Use my flash magic. Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do? I guess I'm just supposed to do this, and then this, and then this, and, and then this, but not like that. <laughs> no! Gosh dang it. Get it. There we go. There we go. Alright, now I have enough time to get the yellow button. No. What do I do there? I gotta push the yellow button, but then I don't really have a way back. Uh, wait, where's that story coming from? Also, I see a water chomper. Oh, gosh. This is a big adventure. Dang. There's a Wee Stinker trapped over there. Wee Stinker... Trapped right here in a fake wall, I believe. <coughs> yep, that's what it looks like. Hmm. <coughs> so, is it just supposed to speed run? I'm not sure. Well, let me uh, try get going over there again. Let me just flash this guy. Flash him again. That's not how you do that. I accidentally did that too close. And I can't f use flash magic while walking. Ah! Here, how about I do it a different way? Here, you, you can go back to where you were. I'll get one doing that this way. There we go. I should have a better time. There we go. Uh, but I still don't think that'll be good enough to, uh... Uh, well, yeah. So there's a Wee Stinker. Oh, I can flash him. Okay, so now I can flash the Wee Stinker and have him stay over there. Gosh dang it. Stay over there. There. <laughs> now I can collect these gems. Let me just go get some more flash magic we stinker, then I'll rescue you. <laughs> Hello. 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 But do I want to save you? Not well. <laughs> uh the question is, do I need to keep the we stinker? Um and not have him exit? Or what? I don't know, I think for now I'm just gonna leave him over there. So he's not tempted to exit. Uh, right here, I'm using blink magic. I see, I see. I won't need a wee stinker for that. And for this, um, I don't think I'll need wee stinkers for this either. I'll just need flash magic for those critters. I believe. Maybe I can use one of the fire flowers. We'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you over there, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, now I'm out running a water chomper. And failed. <coughs> Alright, so let me save here. Are you sure? Really outrunning this guy, so okay, that's teleporters. And will that block the water that will block the water chomper out? Okay, so I need to be really quick. So I need to collect the gem, collect the coin, and all that good stuff. Holy crap, this water chomper is fast. Also spooky. There we go. Get down. Okay, where's that? Gosh dang it! Why did the teleporter teleport you there? What the heck? Sheesh. That's dumb. 
Okay, that one you again. Owned. Crap. Hang on. That's uh, all put over here. Boinky. Okay. I. Uh, why does that happen? I okay. I don't think I need the spiky balls. I think you can just go ahead and kill all of them. I mean, I don't think I would need the spiky balls. If I do, then I'll just keep a save handy. But I'm just gonna kill you all. Um, there we go. All right, spiky balls dead. There we go. There we go, we're all safe. Oof. Okay, we stinker, you stay right here just in case I need you. Okay, these squitters. Um Yeah, you stay right there, squitter. And that's gonna go there. And that's gonna go there. I don't know if I was I was supposed to chase the squitters myself through the fireballs, but flash works really well for that, so I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to pick up some more flash magic just in case I need it. Probably won't, but it doesn't hurt. Hey, wait, it's a trap! Huh? Oh, crap. Let me, uh, save. What the heck? Uh. Oh, I see. So as soon as I click those gems, then they're gonna get unleashed. Um, geez, that's a lot of water choppers. Holy cow. Here, this guy can exit. You know what? This guy can also exit. He's been over here long enough. <laughs> there. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and save. Was I supposed to be keep the spiky balls alive? They'd be able to handle. Uh. Dealing with all these water chompers. How am I supposed to do this? Maybe I'm just supposed to, Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to get one at a time and then, um... So I was supposed to be, keep the spiky balls alive. Gosh dang it. Oh wait, no, I can, uh, I can flash the fire flowers. That can also work. <laughs> Alright, so you will murder. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, forget that. I want to use this one. So, okay, good, I can outrun you. That's good. Alright, now set up defense. There we- <laughs> There we go. We have a defense system in place. We can shoot through all of the water chompers. Nice. They can't get through to me. If they try, they'll get shot. I just want to say this is the best defense system ever. Thank you, Fireflower, for being a really good defense system. How many freaking chompers are there? Holy crap. A lot. Wait, are they? Oh, there's a generator. I have never seen a generator before. Okay, so it's just gonna keep producing them. Well, that big time stinks. Yeah, it just keeps producing water choppers. So I'll never be able to outrun them. Shoot. Uh, what is the solution to this madness? Can I cut it off at its source? Can I go like this? Uh, 
Nope. Um. What can I do about this water chomper situation? Maybe I can load back to before I trigger the trap. Oh, um, that would be right here. Which is before this section. All right, cool. We gotta do this part again. That's fine. I'm still unsure if I need to keep the spiky balls alive. I guess since there's a generator, that I say probably not. Let me save again. Save game. Uh, right here this time. So I can collect the gems before. It will still unleash them. Man, that's really fast. What the heck? Okay, so I can't really do anything about that, it seems. <coughs> so the gems will keep the. Oh, wait, no, but freaking. freaking frack. <laughs> I can collect the gems, and the fire flowers can stay in the way. There we go. There, walls. Now they can't get through, and I win. Hello, Lava Eye. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Sus. These, uh, yeah, I guess these water chompers are a little bit sus. Alright, so I think that is everything. So now I can complete the level. Thank you. Yay. That was a pretty tough one. I got all the gems and coins. Really clever. <coughs> Alright, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play through more of Nasco's adventures. I, I think there was an order. That I was following, and that's why like I did them in this particular order. I'm not sure. Should I continue with Adventure for the Keys? Let me take a look. Load saved game. So this is my previous save from when? From October. <laughs> October of last year. So let me go back to the part where I was having difficulties on and see if I feel like taking another crack at it or if I just feel like abandoning this adventure altogether. Alright, so this is what I was doing. There's a whole bunch of lurkers. Oops, this is where my spy is. So I got these buttons that I need to hold down in order to get all over to the red key and the burp pad. Um, and in order to hold those down, I would need squitters or spiky balls or ice flowers. I think I no, I, I don't have any flash magic. So I only have uh, flowing and grow magic to get squitters and spiky balls onto those buttons. Uh, I don't think I feel like doing this again. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. Let me uh, try playing a different uh, adventure from Nasco. Uh, we'll see if I feel like, ever feel like coming back to Adventure for the Keys. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, the thing is, um, the section down here is what I'm most worried about because this part took me for freaking ever to get through to get the key that was beyond these yellow and blue gates. So if I erase my save for this level, I'd have to redo the section all over again. Uh, so I think for now, I'm just gonna say I'm not going to complete this adventure. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it for now. But I will play some more Nesco adventures. Uh, I'm just wondering if there was like a particular 
order that Nesco had listed that I play them because I remember there was one a long time ago. So let me look back deep, deep, deep within my server. Send me like a whole bunch of links in one post. Deep, 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 deep. Give me a sec. Okay, I found the list. Okay, so the next one on the list was um. Oh my god, there's a lot of adventures listed here. Uh, the jungle uh, temple. The jungle temple. All right. So I will go ahead and see what I have here. Here it is, the jungle temple. Find what's inside. So I'll be playing a few more of Nasco's adventures. I'm assuming, I, yeah, I can't walk on this grass. It's uh, it's deadly grass. You don't want to mess. All right, so I'm assuming I want the squitter to go onto the yellow button. Yep, or teleporter. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna save over this. All right, so yellow teleport. Got some green tentacles. I haven't seen those things in a while. Got some burst flowers over there. Uh, oh, I don't. Ha I don't have a spy eye. The heck, dude. That's weird. Okay, so no spy eye for this adventure. No match gloves either. So yeah, I'm gonna need to collect those. Uh, let's see. Yeah, avoid those. Here's my magic gloves. Yeah, no spy eye. Good boy. All right. I'm not gonna need some pop magic. Have to figure out for what that. I'll apply for this. Get you out of the way. Got some dragon turtles. I still can't use my spy eye. I can't see what's up ahead. Uh, but there's an orange key up there that I can collect. Uh, turtle's gonna need to go somewhere specific. I believe. Trying to look to see where the turtle can go. Uh, I guess the turtle would fill in the bridge right here. Hopefully, it can. Save game. Are you sure? All right. So I want to guide the turtle to up here, I believe, <laughs> and stay close behind them so that the green tentacles can go down. Yep. Okay. There we go. Orange key. <coughs> uh oh. Now I can't get back. I, I didn't think of my escape route. Oop. Uh, load save. Alright, so. Well, what's the uh, indigo teleport transporter for, I wonder? Does this hurt? Oh, I guess the turtle goes on here. He steps on it. Oh. I see what the indigo transporter is for. Alright, so the turtle makes left turns. Gotcha. Um, okay, so I want to stand right here. And the turtle is going to step on the transporter. Uh, keep walking and then go into the... Onto the... Uh, make it bridge the same way. Yeah. There we go. And now I can actually get back. Clevar. Clevar, Clevar. Alright. So 
And I have the orange key, so now I can free the baby boomer. You are free. You can come with me. Um. Oh. Got stuck. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and save again. Oh. Okay, well, I didn't want that to happen. Can I snipe him before? Don't exit, my dude. I don't want you to exit. Gosh dang it. That's such a troll exit. Sheesh. Now I gotta do this part over again. Because I saved at the wrong time. Alright, turtle, you gotta go over here again. I think the most troll move of the soul so far is that there's no spy eye. That stuff is essential, man. I always need a spy eye for levels. I guess you don't need them, but it just makes it less infuriating. It isn't even infuriating, it's just a mildly inconvenient is the word that I will use. At least it's not as bad as a turn of one land that doesn't even have a safe safe system. <laughs> Okay, now I can save right here. Are you sure? I'm going to tell the kaboom. <laughs> a mild inconvenience? Ugh. Exactly. Oh, you like some mild inconvenience. Okay, so I want the baby boomer to stand right here. Ugh. Gosh dang it. I was gonna say, like, oh wait, I want to be out of the way when it explodes. Or else I will be exploded. Okay, so you stand right here. I'm just gonna be all the way over here. And you explode. There we go. Still can't see where that leads. Uh, but I know you can't go on that path. So I'm just gonna leave you right there in case I need you again. Alright, so we got this button. Uh. That's cool, I actually didn't know you could have a flip bridge, uh, like an X shape. That's neat. Okay, so what do we have? I wish I had a spy eye. <laughs> There's no secondary objective, which means the, o the only objective of this stage is to get to the star. I can't even see where the star is. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need to have the baby boomer finish, so I'm just gonna leave him over there. Forever trapped. Okay, um, I'm gonna be getting some new magic. I got some mini burr pads and some mini pop pads, some mini grow pad, and a flowing pad. Gotcha. So I probably use the pop, the um, pop magic from this the mini pad in order to rotate this back over? Oh, but I would also use flying magic for that. Okay. So I guess my goal is to... I don't know what my, I don't know what my goal is. I'm just gonna save. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, do I need the crab? Is the crab gonna be useful in any way? Okay, so that raises... Do you follow me? Wait, why, why is the red crab following me? I thought green crabs did that. That's weird. And I can't rotate it. Uh, well, that's inconvenient. That's a mild inconvenience. <coughs> Except, not even mild, it's, uh, I can't do anything about that. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get the crab to somehow go over here to this water so I can walk across. I see. Alright, um... There's also grow matter. What does this do? I don't know what this does. Oh, never mind. I Okay, so that raises up a bridge. So I need to have the crap standing on the... What is this? Lava button? Looks like the lava texture. So 
I need to, um, I guess block him in with crow magic so that he can't escape. <coughs> that would make the most sense to me. Alright, let me collect these before I do this. Alright. I don't know what the burr magic is for yet. Are you sure? So I got a, a mini pop pad and two mini burr pads. Um. <coughs> I want to test something. What, what happens if I do this? No, I can't do that. Okay, never mind. I was going to try like walking up. To see if I can do that before I drown, but nope. Absolutely not. Uh, so I need to figure out how to get a crab over here. That's the main issue at the moment. <coughs> um. And yeah, once it enters the water, I can't get it back out. So that is slightly annoying. Uh, I'm just wondering if I use flowing magic. Um, I might. I'm just wondering why the red crap follows me instead of uh, going away from me. Uh, what is the burr for? I guess the burr is for um, freezing it while I rotate. So that's okay. Yeah, I guess that's what that's for. So I'm gonna collect the burr magic. I don't know if I need both of them though. So yeah, you can follow me. You can follow me. Uh, then I can freeze you. Uh, then I need my pop magic. Go ahead and rotate. Wait, how's this gonna work? Also, now he's not—he's not chasing me anymore. Now he's running away from me. What? What the heck? What's up with that? That's really weird. So once I freeze a crab, then when it unfreezes, it will go back to its regular state of going running away from me. That's weird. That's weird interaction. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about this situation. Hello, Neon Lightning Gaming. Thank you for the bit. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, one bits being dropped. Also, I figured out, I found out that um, if you cheer one bit every 30 days on a streamer, uh, it gives you a whole bunch of channel points, which is abusing the system, but oh well. I swear eventually I'll have something that you can use channel points on. At the moment, I'm just gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. Um, let's see. I feel like I should, just in case, recharge my uh, pop magic. Also, I can have. No, I can't. Uh, I was gonna say I could have the baby boomer uh, stand down here and rotate the button for me, but no, he can't go past the exits. My streams are getting more and more advanced. Cool. Maybe my streams will be like that someday. I don't know. I just like to play games. I don't really need a fancy stream. But I like it to be at least a tiny bit fancier. Okay, so the crab needs to go down here. And I'm not really sure the best way to do that. What happens? Hang on. I'm going to see what happens in this following interaction. What happens if I freeze the crab right there? It's probably just gonna die. Yeah, it just dies when I rotate. No <coughs> hmm. Okay, so gotta figure out how to get the crab down there.
what I'm wondering is, um, what if something is floinged? Let me, uh, oops. That's not what I meant to do. Let me do this. Uh, set up a flowing bubble. Oh, I can't do it right there. Um, okay, right here then. Okay, I can put it above water. So does that mean... Oh, wait, I gotta recharge my flowing. There we go. Does that mean an object can be above water and the flowing magic will keep it there? That'd be cool if so. It didn't even work, bro. Can I not? I thought I could pop over the um little grass walls right here. Oh, I can't. Oh, I thought I could. Oops. These so pretty much just act like walls. Okay. That is highly strange. I must say. <coughs> Okay, so getting the crab over here. I don't even know if I need the grow magic to keep it there. I probably just freeze it once it's on the button. Unsure. Boom. So the crab's gonna follow me. I want to freeze the crab or flowing the crab crab right here, but okay, right. I was uh, trying to see if I could. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I got distracted. I was gonna try doing this. Um, I'm going to set up. Any more flying levels? Let's make the go by faster. Faith, are you sure? There we go. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. Okay, so now I let this guy go. He's going to follow me. Um. Yeah, when I step over him, he just goes to a random spot. I don't like that. That is not cash money. What happens if I do this? Can you like walk? Nope. Yeah, he goes a, different a random direction every time. Uh, okay, I guess I'll set up a flowing bubble there, I guess. So you get stuck right there. Yeah, and then he floats over the water. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. I also can't walk past him. So what happens? Does he sink or does he die? He sinks, okay. Alright, and that happens. <coughs> hmm. Loading. What do I do then? <laughs> um. So I need to get the crab over to this section down here. I have no idea how to do. So you can follow me. But if he follows me, I um I need to make sure that me and him um stay on this bridge while it's rotating. But there's only one spot on this bridge that I can stand on. Me and the crab. Oh, I think I, I think I thought of something. Maybe, 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 maybe. Anyways, <laughs> I can sit. I can load from here because that'll be part of my plan. Okay, so Mr. Krabbenheimer is going to follow me. Um, I go ahead and. Save the game again. I put a flowing bubble right here. 
And I hope to goodness that the RNG cooperates and I can actually... I can actually get him to run over there. Or does he always run diagonal left? Or diagonal right? Either one. No, it's literally just random. Okay. Bruh. So it's literally just random whichever direction he decides to go. So I just gotta be lucky. I hope that he goes into the flowing bubble. I think he set up another one. That doesn't work. <laughs> also, I don't think I want to set one up there. Actually, I'm not. I'm not sure. We'll see. Up there. Also, also, I just realized. Um. Oh god. There we go. Okay. I realized that I want a pop magic so that I can actually go, uh, pop the uh, rotate button after the crab gets trapped in the flying bubble. So I want to set up my flying bubble right now, and then I'll go get a pop magic right now. So the dude's gonna follow me. Okay, so now with a pop magic, I save. Are you sure? It's, it seems like he's taking the same patterns. So I feel like it's not entirely random. Hmm. I'm not sure. So it always goes... Up, right, up left or down right. There we go. Finally got him to be trapped. Okay. So now I can pop. And now he'll run over there. As soon as he escapes. Let me go ahead and save. And uh, I think I can create a few more flowing bubbles. Oh, I'm not right there. There we go. Alright, so how much longer is this adventure? Oh, okay, we're going to another section. Save game. Are you gotcha, sure? gotcha. <coughs> Wait! Load I game. saw that. I saw that before I entered. I, I saw that before I entered. I see some coins over there. You can't fool me. You thought you could because you took away my spy eye. But I say nay. I say nay. Can I get over there, though? What does this do? Oh, there's a green crab over there. Um, okay. Hello, green crabs. Doink. I'm gonna see if these guys follow me. Um. That, oh, I had it. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to do some more save stuff. Follow me, bruv. Not that way, bruv. Still not that way, bruv. Come on, bruv. Oh my goodness. This crab. Does he not like water, by the way? Maybe he doesn't. I thought this crab liked water, but I guess not. Maybe he doesn't float in water. I thought he did. I think he does. But also, he's not going the right way. At all. Ever. He's not going up here. Ever. That, that's weird. Huh. Go. I wonder why I can't get him to go up here. That's weird. 
Okay, no RNG, but like, I think at some point you go over there. <coughs> what if I get another crab? Hey, dude. What happens if I try with all my might to push you guys in the water? So it just doesn't work. You guys just don't like water, huh? Okay. Wait, but that's bad then, because I'm trying to get you guys to drown, drown it in the water. Yeah, okay, he, they just don't like water. Um, That's not good. You guys are following me now. <laughs> Anywhere else I can go? There's a whole bunch of dragon tar- There's at least two over there. How do I get over there? Gosh, why does this have to take my take away my spy eye? What the heck? Cause now I wanna like go over there and see what's up. <coughs> but I can't see all the way over there. I can see that there are turtles. Maybe. Maybe. There are turtles. There are turtles. There they are. But I, they can never be accessed. Hmm. I was wondering if there was a specific magic that I wanted to take with me. Is there a specific magic that would help me out in this situation? That helped me achieve what I desired. I mean, I feel like only the if the green crabs don't go in the water like I thought they did, then only the red crab will be able to help me then. <coughs> the red crab's too busy being on the button. Gem, 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 gem. I want those gems. I would desire, I desire those gems. But yeah, these crabs apparently do not like water at all. That is unfortunate. Not sink. I cannot step on them. Okay. Oh, oh! I think I know what magic it wants from me. It wants the burr magic. Because there were two mini burr magics that I could get. Um, but then that presents another problem: is that um, there's a little growth pad right here that I need to make sure I avoid. Okay, so the two burn magics are going to be used for getting the gems. So I need to make sure that I have those as I'm exiting this area. But also I would need flowing magic to be able to rotate the... Flip bridges, but hmm, hmm. it's very confusing indeed. Crab is currently trapped. So I think my current solution kind of works right now. I was trying to figure out how to bring the burr magic with me. I need that pop, the the uh, pop magic right here in order to rotate it, but then I can't get back over here to the bird magic to collect them. So 
was wondering how we're gonna manage that one. I would still need a flowing bubble for the crab, I feel like. I don't really see any other way how I'm gonna get the crab over here. <laughs> so how is burr magic achieved? Crab dare follows me. So yeah, right now I want the um It's not what I meant to have happen. <laughs> Right now I want to exit this area with burn magic, but I have no idea how because it's all the way over there. And I need um pot magic to be able to rotate the flip bridge in the first place. And even if I put a pot magic in a flowing bubble, um I would still need the crab to also be in a flowing bubble while the bridge is rotating. And if both collapsed at once, then the crab would just sink, and the flip bridge would rotate with, uh, and get, the crab would be in the way. Hmm. How on earth am I gonna get this magic? Wish I was given some of the spy eye. That's okay. <coughs> Yeah, that brings that up. I also don't know what the grow magic is for. Although I feel like the grow magic is just, just there to mess uh, mess you up having the burn magic. But I can't even get the burn magic in the first place. <laughs> That's the problem. little pot magic right here that I can collect but I need that in order to rotate the flip bridge uh, back this way that is right now so I can actually go over here the only purpose of me going over here is to get the flowing magic that I use the flowing bubble for this question is, if you put a flowing bubble directly onto a button, uh, how long, do, how much time does it take for the pop magic to hit that button? That's what I'm wondering. Probably not fast enough for, I mean, it's pretty immediate, but I still think that if I were um, to also have the crab... in a flowing bubble so let me let me try it let me set up a flowing bubble right there i would need two so also a flowing bubble right here i collect the pop magic i free the crab and also that's gonna happen too is that the crab's not gonna go the right way flowing bubble here and here If I go and get the pot magic, I'm just gonna go ahead and save right here. Save game. Are you sure? Load game. Load game. I think it's go the right way is such a pain. Load and also, the uh, flame bubbles are going to collapse very really quickly since there's two of them. I don't even know if I have enough time to go back and get the burr magic. Go ahead. 
Do I have enough time? Getting the bird match right now. I do not have enough time. And also it doesn't work, so it wouldn't have mattered anyways. The crab falling into the water is more immediate than the flip bridge button being pushed. <laughs> okay, well that's, that answers that question then. Uh, so what's the next course of action in order to get the gems? Because I want these guesting their gems. But I need burn magic in order to do so. Another path that I can take that leads to the dragon turtles, because the dragon turtles would be a huge help. But that seems to not be the case. The only path that I can take is this one right here. Is there another hidden path along this path? Why not? This one's only for coins. path around here that I can take for getting over to the dragon turtles. Fooey. Fooey, fooey, fooey. I want these gems. question is if this is even possible if um I could have the crab go over here and he can, he can be my bridge that would also work out and then that would, would that be enough for me to be able to no because I still would be able to bring over break burn magic so I think what would happen after that is um I think the green crab Oh, I think the I think I would bring over the green crab. Um the green crab would raise the red crab off of the button. And then I could uh bring the red crab all the way over to the water and make a bridge for, to get to the gems. That sounds extremely Nothing. tough. I mean, it's a thought. <laughs> Loading. So I need to load from here. So instead, the uh, flowing bubble would be right here. I we'll still need the pot magic, I believe. I mean, I don't, need, I don't need the flowing for it, but I would still need the pot magic itself. And I wouldn't be able to get the burn magic. I don't think the burn magic is a part of this puzzle. It really seems like it is, but it's not, I don't think. Alright, so the crab is going to go ahead and follow me. I'm going to save. Right here. And I want the crab to go into the flowing bubble. Hopefully I can get him to do such a thing. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, it's quite tough. He likes the water. I'm not the part of the water where the flame bubble is. He's on all four corners except for the one where the flame bubble is. Oh my goodness. I know that he has a chance to back over to the flame bubble. Just don't know why he's not doing it. Uh, but also, I think I have to use the bathroom. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. I will be right back. All right, I am back. Load game. And now I am going to continue to make the crab try to go into the flowing bubble. Load game. Which is proving to be unsuccessful. Load game. Load game. Yeah, also, I can uh, save right Load here. Game. Oops. I just make it one step that I have to take, not two. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now I rotate it. Now the crab gets chased over here. So now what happens is I'm going to have a green crab follow me onto that orange button and then bring the red crab back up. So he's going to create a bridge. I'm going to go over here, get these coins. <sighs> I can save again. Okay, I don't know if I need both green crabs. I'm just gonna take one for now. He will be my buddy, and I will call him Steve. It's a good thing he doesn't go in water, actually. Um, I think I will have to use the grow magic to keep him on the orange button because Actually hmm. I don't know how this is gonna work I'm going to use flowing magic for this to keep the green crab on the orange button. Uh, okay, Mr. Green Crab, there we go. Oh, but I need to put a flowing magic there first, so. Do that. There we go. That's what I want. <coughs> Save game. Are you sure? Alright, so now the red crab is going to step off of the bridge button. Or not the bridge button, the bridge. Uh, and then I need to have the bridge come up again, so I'm just gonna wait for that to happen. There we go. And now this red crab is... Really? Did that really just happen just now? 
We need crab please so badly. Is that a BTTV emotes? If so, I could add it right now. Yes. Say no more. I'm on the case. BTTV. There are many crabs in this game. All right, so I'm logged in with Twitch. Uh, emotes. So I will have to remove one of the uh, emotes I already have. I don't know which one is most used. <laughs> uh, which one of these do I not? Which one of these do I like the least? <laughs> I think I like this one the least, so I will remove it. There we go. And now I will add crab, please. Let's go to... So which one is this? Crab, please. Search. Ah, it's the dancing crab. Crab rave. Add to channel. There we go. Now, it should show up whenever it's typed as a message, unless it takes some time to refresh. It might take some time to refresh. Uh, okay, well, I guess... I don't know when it gets added, but... In the near future, we will have crab, please. So, I guess you can just keep trying until then. Anyways, back to game. Alright, so I want you to not... I gotta... Refresh the page. Oh, okay. Um, can I do this? Uh, I don't know if there's a way to refresh. Oh, here we go. Refresh chat. Okay. Oh, uh, yep. Now it's showing up. Heck yes. We have crap, please. There we go. It's not showing up. It's still not showing up on uh, on the stream, but. Actually, do I have the setting to where? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I don't. I current. I don't currently know if I have the setting to where uh, BTTV emotes show up on. Oh, hang on. Let me type a global BTTV emote. They do. Okay. Yeah. Um. It, yeah. There we go. Um. So for that, I might just have to wait for the next stream for our crap please to show up on the uh, chat box, but. Just know that there is Crab Brave happening in the chat right now. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube. Okay, back to game. There we go. Okay, so the crab. Gosh dang crab. Needs to run his butt. You're gonna play that way, huh? This might be what I need the grow magic for, actually. I might need to set up some grow magic. Um, so you're gonna be stuck right there. I'm going to set up a grow. Wait. Uh, how am I gonna do this again? And then he's following me. Um. Hmm. Because I want to set up the grow magic on the, um, on the arrow so that the crab doesn't step on it. Because otherwise, if he does, I can't really get him out of that little crevice. <coughs> That's probably why I need the grow magic. Um, yeah, it still doesn't show up on stream. <laughs> oh well. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to have to redo this save again. And once I get this working, I'm going to need to get the little grow magic and put a little grow shroom on the arrow. Load game. Load game. RNG, am I right, guys? No Alright, fellas. No I don't know if I have a better chance if I if, if I start down here. It doesn't no seem like thing. it. 
Seems like it's always... He always goes that direction when I'm down there, but not when I'm right here. What the heck, dude? Dude? Dude. Uncool, man. But it always seems like he goes in a diagonal direction. So it wouldn't work from... Directly below the... Or directly above the floor level. This is annoying. <laughs> Why can't the crab go where he needs to go? I'll wait a little bit. No? Why do you do this to me, crab? Freaking why? What if I try from a different angle? What if I just like go around him? He always goes the angle at which the flame bubble isn't there. Oh yeah, yo. There we go. Okay, maybe that's the magic angle. Alright, so now I rotate, and I'm gonna get some grow magic. To set up. From pop out. Okay, now I have the grow magic. I'm gonna get the brain crab to follow me. And I'm going to save over my other save that doesn't have the grow magic. Hey. All right, so save. Uh, right here. Green crab is going to follow me, and I am going to set up a grow magic right here. So let me go to save again. Are you sure? There we go. So it's going to stay right there so that um, the red crab can't go that way and be a pain in my side. But also now I need to go get some fooling magic so I can deal with this green crab. I need to get this done in a timely manner or else um or else the growth room is gonna expire but it should be a while so but just in case I'm gonna set these up to make sure I can get through this faster there we go okay so the growth room yep the growth room is still there save again now I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get the crab to go the way I want him to. I have a feeling he might always go up instead of... Oh, there we go. Okay. Never mind. Um, but now what? How am I going to deal with this situation? Ooh. Ooh, you're kind of in a not-so-fun spot, my guy. Can I just, like, scooch past you? I can. Okay, that's good. Just trying to suss out my uh, what I got so far. <coughs> hmm. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get this to work because I'm pretty sure he's always going to when he exits this area. He's always going to. Uh, go to the left into the water right here which I don't want him to now my question is if I use my I might have to use my uh, grow magic right here and if that's the case, then it might be possible to get the red crab to go into this area without having the uh, grocer in where I put it. Let me just confirm. He's always going to run to the left into the water, right? I think. I think. But maybe if I'm, like, really fast. Uh, let's see. If I put a flowing magic over there and get him stuck... I can't, yeah, I can't sneak past him. And if I stand right here, he's always going to run to the left. He's never going to run up in this situation. He's always going to run left or maybe even diagonal left. Diagonal up left. But he's, yeah, he's going to go up left. But he's never going to go um, up. Directly up. <coughs> <sighs> and that 
is what we call a big problem. Uh, however, however, I just realized, what if I do the same thing, I put the flowing bubble right here, and this time I stand right here and have him go down left. That way I can uh, keep on chasing him, and then I can eventually make him loop back around into the water right here to get the gems. That might be what I have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and save this kid. Hey, sure? <laughs> okay. This is good. So I'm gonna chase him, and I'm gonna chase him again. I might need another flowing bubble. I might need one right here to make sure that once he breaks out, um, he always goes up. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Save again. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, let me just put another flying bubble right here. That way he will always go up. Right there. So now go directly up. There we freaking go. Gems, baby. Baby. Alright, now the grocery room is gone. So now we can... Go on to the next area. Hopefully there weren't any more goodies. I'll just save just in case. Save game. Are you sure? Oh my goodness, that took forever to figure out. Holy crap. I actually had to make use of all my magic except for fur magic. Funny enough. Uh so what's, now it's happening down here. Freaking finally! Why didn't you give me my spy eye earlier? Gosh dang level. Masco? Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, anyways, got some rainbow gems. Uh, I don't really see the exit though. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen after I hit that um, diamond button. Uh, this area's kind of laggy. No idea why. Let's go ahead and collect all the stuff while I can. Try to find out what happens when I hit this diamond button. Okay, save. Why is it so laggy? Sure? <laughs> okay, what did that do? Oh, it's up some bridges. Okay. Interesting. What the heck? Maybe that's why it's so laggy. Oh, and there's some crystals. And what happened? Someone exploded. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's the end of the adventure. Okay. So I just collect the rainbow crystal. And we are good. Oh, alright. Wow, well, that was a... That was a tough one. <laughs> that was a really tough puzzle, but it was pretty clever, too. And only slightly annoying. <laughs> Finally got my spy eye. Alright, let's see. Next adventure is... Uh, Chomper Race. All right, so let us play the chump race. Only slightly, indeed. All right. Back to game, chump race. Oh, there's two versions. I don't know which one is the... Because I know uh, there's a message attached to that saying um, there's a fixed version below in the post, so one of these versions might be broken. So I'm not sure which one. I'm gonna guess the one that's lower most. So this one. Uh, protect the chomper before the start of the race. Okay. What the heck is this? The chomper. Okay, so I gotta make sure I protect the chomper, which I failed to do just now. Um. Okay. Well, he could only chase me as far as here, and then what? I have no idea. 
There's a blink magic right here. Okay. So this is completely dark. There's a hut right here. Hut, hut, hut. Also, I'm using my running animation. <laughs> oh, well, that's a trap. There's a signpost right there and some void fragments. That seems kind of troublesome. Uh, well, before I free the chopper, let me just see what else I got around here. Yes, yeah, so there's bits of the void. That's not good. That's just a random stool. Coins left to be spawn will disappear forever. Spawn sign now go 2 to 2. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, that was close. What is happening here? This seems like a very strange adventure. <coughs> Too bad I can't see any of what's going on because of the darkness. As I can see slightly, but I don't really feel like squinting today. So I guess the point of the coins is that, um... Yeah, this is just for a bonus, so I just need to make sure that the chomper doesn't die while I'm collecting these coins. But the chopper must be freed in order for me to collect the coins. So I just gotta keep them alive somehow. Okay, interesting. Save game. Are you sure? Uh this one's gonna be weird. So he's just gonna stay there, that's good. I don't see where he is right now, and he's dead. And he's dead. Hang on. So he'll, he'll stay safe right here. Gotcha. I don't know what I'm trying to do with him yet. I guess I'll figure that out as I go. Yeah. And he's dead. Okay, um, I guess I just gotta go through here and guide him. He's probably just gonna stay in the same spot until I do something. Oh, that was, that gate was lowered. Okay, I couldn't really tell. That was not very good. I know, game over, stinker. I know. Gonna save her again right here. Just make sure the chomper doesn't die. My question is is he gonna stay in the same spot? I guess so. Hopefully, he is. He died. Okay. Uh, wait. Is this his path? I think it was. Okay, so as soon as I lower the tentacle, he's gonna start chasing me. That's what's up. Interesting. Like, he's gonna smart path over to me. Right now, he's on dump path. Because, uh, he doesn't have a way over to me. Interesting. I think that would happen, but I was impatient. On, is there anything else over there where the chomper is? Doesn't seem like it. I think it's where he is. So what else do we have again? <coughs> uh, well, apart from being trapped, that'd be nice. Restart. I just want to see what I have uh, to the right again. 
So I can go up here. I'm not really sure what the point of this is. The hut. Cage right there that I can't do anything about. What is this? Dave, are you sure? Only chompers can pr press this button. Take the chomper and trap inside here. Okay, so I guess this is for after I trap the chomper. What does this do? Is that a rainbow bumper? I can't really tell. So that's what a star is, and I need the. Ch I guess I need the. I require the chomper to be able to push this button. I don't know what I'm thinking. So only the chomper can push the button. So if the chomper's following me, right around here, then when he pushes the button, um, won't I be trapped? Because there's gonna be a cage right here that's gonna get me. I guess that's where I use my blink magic. I guess that's where I use my blank magic that I need to get. Hmm. Interesting. And I can't blink over to the star because there's not really a tile to blink onto. Let's get over there, so. That was thought of. <coughs> okay, so yeah, I need to get the chomper over to the rainbow button in order to complete the level. Gotcha. I just need to outrace him. Ah, so this is the chomper race. Me racing him right here. Gotcha. So I need to keep him safe un until he needs to come with me. Uh, well, with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and load this save. And prepare for the race. Which includes keeping him up. I gotta keep my competition alive. What kind of nonsense is this? Why do I gotta keep? Why do I gotta? Why do I gotta rescue my competition only to race him right after? Bull crap, man. I just want to win the race right now, dude. So if I lower this, there's still not a path over to me, so he still doesn't chase me. I need to push the yellow button too. <laughs> oh wait, what's over here? I didn't see this part yet. This is uh, a swift death for the chomper. Gotcha. So you can go back here, but it's not really recommended because the chomper will die. Loading. Understood. Survive my guy, you can survive my guy. But as soon as I lower that green tentacle, then he's gonna st start running straight for me. Hmm. That's where it gets tricky. Are you sure? Ow. Well, I was waiting for the um. For the chomper to be chasing me. Because I'm pretty sure right now it's gonna be chasing me. But I gotta make sure that he uh doesn't die. That's the that's the really tough problem. Especially when I can't see anything. <laughs> Why is it all gonna be dark? Gosh dang it. I hate saying it, but there's there always seems to be like one thing about these levels that just makes them just like well, inconvenient to play. It can never be easy for me, man. Also, that's not where I want to load. There we go. <coughs> so I'm gonna do this. The chopper's gonna be chasing me. Okay, so where's the chopper right now? Relative to my position right here. Well. Where was the chomper, rather? <laughs> so I think he was right here. I think. Let me just go down more and confirm. 
Nothing. Wait, was he? He's gonna go down a little bit more. Uh, I don't think so, actually. Mm. Actually, maybe. I just have a tough time believing that we would have made through all of this unscathed. Was he right here? So the chomper is right here. <coughs> and then when I lower the green tentacle... When I lower the green tentacle, he's gonna come running this way. And die right there. He has so far to go, what the heck? Sheesh. What does this level want from me? Chamber's gonna die right now. Yeah. He dies right there. And he still has a long way to go. What do I do, man? Load game. Just gotta time it out? Maybe? No, well, that was the incorrect Load timing. Uh, okay, sounds like the chopper's safe right now. I wish I could see. <sighs> okay, so right now, I think the chopper is right where my mouse is. So he's got to go down, doink, du, 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 and this is where I am. That is such crap. <laughs> Alright, well, since he's safe, let me save again. Because it's probably going to take some trial and error. Oh, man. Why does this have to be in the dark? So, the next safe spot is going to be... Doink, doink, doink. That's a lot to go through in just one, one sitting. And he's dead. And that was the incorrect timing. Okay. Ow. I just want the charm to come over in one swoop, but... I don't think that can happen. Well, he died right there, which was... Where? Wait, what? Ow. Man, these... Flames. Oof. Okay, so where does the chomper die? Right there. Okay. That flame right there. And I am where? I'm right here. So right there. This particular flame. Flames are really getting my noives. Happened. I thought that the chomper was like. Was the chomper right here? I guess the chomper was right there, and not where I thought it was. I thought it was over here. Okay. Well. In that case. So what happens if I lower the tentacle again? So I have no idea where it is, but maybe based on off its nyaz, I'll be able to figure out where it is. So right now, I guess it's around here, when I thought it was like around here. So it's gotta go left, up, right. And he's dead. No thing. <coughs> yeah, okay, so I, I thought he was right here at first, but no he's not. No thing. Oh, you, why do they gotta make this so difficult? I don't do it like Loading. two seconds later, maybe, maybe after the next fireball. Dead. Loading. Oh my gosh, dude! Imagine trying to get cycles in the dark. 
Oh my goodness. So many flames because I know the chopper's right there. How many flames exist? I think only two between where he needs to go. Where, yeah, where he, where he needs to go. But just to be sure, I'm just going to go over there and check for myself. He died immediately. So he's right here. There's two flames between them. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Oof. Alright, I'll wait three shots. Is that good? Nope. What if I wait four shots? One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Four shot. And he dies immediately. What if I do five shot? Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Is he gonna die at the same spot again? Yep. Gonna die right there. How do I prevent that? Do I just stand right here and wait for it to go away? I gotta also manage the freaking fireball that's coming out of here. Oh yeah, yay! How does Nesco make these? That's what I want to know. Okay, well, apparently that did it. Okay. Now the chomper's safe. Now the chomper's right here. Okay. Uh, let's just see if I can YOLO. Nope. <laughs> I had a feeling I wouldn't. <coughs> Still a lot of flame between... Me and him. Oif, though, man. Oif. I can't do that. No, no. Load game. I was just gonna send a fireball down here, so no. How am I gonna do this part? I wonder. Because the jumper also needs to stay safe from this fireball when exiting. Okay, well, I made it this far. The chomper is right there. Still only a few more flames left to go. Oh, I didn't hear him explode. I feel like if I let the tentacle down too early, though, it's going. To, he's just going to go straight back up because he's in a very long path right now. That's why I wanted to YOLO. Oh, he's dead. Hang on, let's YOLO again. Oh, he's dead. Okay. What happens if I do two shots and then YOLO? He does right there. Okay. That's close. He's getting close. Oof. I think I might be doing this wrong. 
But still, it sucks that it has to be in darkness. So what I'm thinking is, maybe you're supposed to take a different path. So the chopper is, yeah, the chopper's right there. Okay, wait for the fire. Okay. So now, what I think happens is, I go up here. And I can guide the chopper further from up here. Uh, save game. I'm just gonna save over my previous slots. So now the chopper is gonna be on the far left side, like around here. <laughs> and then I have no idea where the fire is, so. Uh, I have no idea where the chopper is either. So that's where it's firing from right now. I think the chomper is right here. So I need to wait for this flame to go away. Okay, still alive. I need to go back down. Still completely guessing where the chomper is. Um, chomper, chomper, chomper. Man, I, I hate this darkness. You have to memorize what is around here. I think the chomper's right here, but I could be mistaken. I'm just gonna save. Are you sure? If the chomper dies, he dies. I'm just gonna go as down as I can. There he is, okay. He's dead. Well, at least I can see his eyes from there. That's good. There he is. Okay, so now you just gotta wait for that flame. There we go. We can see our boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Save. I'm making progress. He's just gonna stay right there. Uh, so what happens if I just push this button and I lower the tentacle? Does he come after me? No, he does not. So he can't smart path to me. So the path isn't open yet. Gotcha. Our tentacle's gonna raise back up, so... Oh, because that tentacle, too. Okay. And he's dead. Why is he dead? Oh, because he followed me. Okay. Fine. Um, okay. Well, the chopper's still right there. Hey, bud. So, once I walk... So, after I walk three tiles to the left, I need to be careful of my position. So, one, two... Three. Okay. So once I walk to the left, uh, the chompers. Okay, so I can see him. Uh, the chompers gonna be right on top of a fire. So how do I avoid that? How do I avoid him getting roasted and toasted while I'm running down? Okay, so the chompers get yeah, right there. I don't think there's enough time for me to run down the hallway. Oh, there might be actually. Ow. That was close, I feel like. Um, let me do this again. I'm gonna be standing right here. Save. Are you sure? Okay, so Chomper is right here. Flame is right here. Just gonna wait for the flame. All right, immediately get the shot. Cool. Okay. Probably still isn't gonna be enough time, but one can hope. Nope, it's not. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, then what I'm assuming needs to happen is that I need to step on one of the other diamond buttons. Uh, while I'm trying to make sure that the chopper doesn't die. So. Yeah, that's going to be going. Get the fireball. Okay, so now the chopper's safe again. Safe right there. Right? Yeah, I can see him. 
Uh, but I'm no longer safe from the fireball right here. Unless I hit this button, so that's good. Still need to watch out for the chopper though, so... Fire is... where? Fire. Okay, so here's a fire. So I just need to... Be quick. Man! Well, I can do this at least. As long as the chomper hasn't died again. You still safe? Uh, yes. Okay. Safe game. Are you sure? Okay, so fire's going right now. Oh, he's chasing me. He's almost there. The main problem I'm having right now is that, um... If I step on the yellow button again... Wait. Load game. Load game. Um, let me load from here. What happens if I step on this twice? Yeah, I can't get through. Dead. Ugh, so I can't step on the yellow button, yellow diamond button twice. That is a huge shame. <coughs> hmm. How? Oh, I don't know why. What, what I expected to happen. My question is, do I need to stand on this? Cause I need, I need time. I'm just not even sure if I can still do it though. Here, okay, go now. And then, okay, and then I get shot right there. I think what I need to do is here. That's my eye. Okay, this fire. And then I wait for the cannonball. And then I. Gosh dang it! It's so close. Okay, let me wait another cycle. Let me wait another fire cycle. So I'll wait for this fire. I'm just gonna wait for it to extinguish. And then wait for it again. Okay, let's go now. Uh, and then I wait for the fireball again. This. Okay, so this is one. And then after two, I wait for the fireball. Let's see if I have enough time. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, finally. Save game. <sighs> Are you sure? Okay, so now the chomper is safe. Uh, but now it comes the tricky part. I need to get the chomper out, outrun him, and dodge the fireballs, and make sure he doesn't die. What the heck? This is insane. <coughs> okay, so I need to unleash... Yeah, come after me. Ow. This is what I'm afraid of, though. He's gonna chase after me. But also, there's cannonball shooting, and there's a fireball coming from up here. Legit, what am I supposed to do? Load in. Am I even supposed to take a rest stop at that green button? It feels like I have to in order to make sure that the chomper doesn't die. No, 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 I think I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Hang on. <laughs> I don't go in there. I just need to make sure that the chomper doesn't drive from here. So, right here. Just need to make sure I know where the chomper is. Okay, so the chomper's right there. There we go. Okay. Now the chomper should be safe. Um, next fire is... 
Uh, three tiles to my right, or two tiles to my right, so I need to make sure it's safe when I step. Okay. Chomper's still alive, that's good. Okay, this part is interesting. Uh, save here. Now the chomper's chasing me here, so that's good. Uh, I think the chomper pushes the yellow button. Oh, the chomper does all of this. Okay. I think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'd be able to get away with uh, coming in there and helping him. But maybe not. I don't know. Maybe the chopper's supposed to do this. Um, yeah, that's going to happen. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. 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 Can I save real quick, dude? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> okay, the race is finally getting on. Now I can finally race the chomper. And get him where he needs to be. Oh my gosh. Oh, but also I gotta make sure he doesn't get trapped. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Man, that took forever to get ready. Oof. Alright. Save again, just to make sure. Are you sure? Alright, so Chomper chases me up here. There we go. So now he gets trapped. Okay, I don't like the placement of that gem. Because I was just about to blink over there, and it, it would have interrupted my blink. Oh my goodness. Alright, whatever. Alright, save. I've got some goodies lined up along the track. That's always nice. <laughs> this is a toughie, man. Holy cow. Alright, I think that's all of the goodies. Let me just backtrack and make sure that looks to be everything. Okay, when well I can finally exit the level. Thank goodness. <laughs> I think. Hopefully that took care of the bumper situation. I don't think there's anything else on the level to do, so... I think that's legit it. Oh, it's a rainbow bridge that it spawns. Okay. I see. Also, I hear a... Bikey ball now? Was that always there? Hang on, what? Was that was there always a spiky ball? I'm going insane, guys. <laughs> I'm going insane. Hang on. Uh uh cancel, exit, load. Is there always a spiky ball? Let's load from the beginning. I'm hearing a spiky ball. Oh, there's always a spiky ball. Somewhere uh, that doesn't affect me. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Next we have... Um, Mysteries of Fire Island Land. Uh, but warning, it's made for Mysteries of Fire Island editor mod. Uh, but you can play in OpenWA if you rename the w, uh, .wa2 to .wa3. It should work fine. If not, skip it. Uh, okay, well, let me do that first. By the way, I'm reading a message that was uh, posted to my server in August. <laughs> uh, let me just check this out real quick. Make sure I have it all correct. So if I go to WA Editor, um, go to User Data, Custom, Adventures, uh, and then I scroll down to NASCO, I believe. Um, it will be MLFI Land. And I don't 
don't see a I don't see a dot wa file. Huh. Interesting. Maybe it has to be when you put it in the downloads inbox. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's try playing it. If it doesn't work, I'll just skip it. Alright. The year is 2009. Mysteries of Fire Island has just been released, and in this level, you'll be introduced to all Mysteries of Fire Island stuff that has just been added to the game. Enjoy. Uh, welcome to Wonderland Adventures MOA 5. First thing you're gonna see here is the scourges. They're like fire flowers, but they can't be killed and do not have animation to shoot. So true. And also, is that a coconut? Oh, it's like a scourge, but not rotated and like a coconut. This is the brand new flowing magic, and sad news, guys, the crimson one has been, have been removed. What the flowing magic do is make time bubbles. Give it a try. Also, this is one time use charger, so use them wisely. The thing is called up is called Zbot, and it's faster version of the spooky ball. Spooky ball. Uh, I can go ahead and stop the uh, Zbot right there. What the heck? Oh, I have a weird version of the. Uh, maybe that's because, uh, WA2 file, maybe? Maybe? Hang on, what happens if I try, uh, now? Hang on, I gotta... There we go, watch out for the scourges. I'm so used to, um, Return to Wonderland scourge pattern to where you can... There's a specific pattern to each of them, but um, one pattern doesn't fire immediately after another pattern, so you can just get away with uh, walking right in front of it. So this doesn't work. I don't think it does. Uh, save. Are you sure? So if I fire this right here, yeah, it's not even gonna create a flowing bubble. So yeah, this is incorrect. Uh, I have a red key though. Would that work? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. So I can just go ahead and collect the red key, and I can just get past this area without having to do the Z-Bot thing. So that's good. So got the shot. Oh, the shard. That's a shard. That's like keys me. Okay, never mind. I can't do this adventure right now. I'd have to uh, reinstall it and name it to WA3. Uh, well, you know, I can do that. I can uh, reinstall that adventure. Let me just download it. So right, yeah, right now it's WA2, but I will download it and rename it to WA3, and then I will put it in the downloads inbox. And that should work, hopefully. So cut, and then go over here, downloads, inbox, paste, alright now I just gotta relaunch the game, so I shall do so real quick, and hopefully that works, I don't know if it will work if I, here, if it, it might not work if I have a, um, if that adventure already exists, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that adventure. So Nesco, MLF Island, delete. All right, let's go ahead and play the WA player again. Let's get to it. See if this works. All right, so downloaded. Uh. Okay, so custom adventure, sort by Nasco. Uh, MOFI land. Maybe it works now. Hopefully, since it was WA three. Let's hope it works. Uh, 
All right, flowing magic. Do you work this time? Let's hope sure? so. Uh, yes, you do. Okay, good. You work properly this time. Thank goodness. There we go. Beware of the coily. Oh my gosh, we gotta deal with these annoying buggers again. Oh boy. So that is going to be a thing. Alright, let's see. Boink. Yeah. Alright, beware of Coily. Gosh. Kills me immediately. Hang on. Kills me in a message box. Neat. Can you... Hey, don't message box me, please. Alright, uh... Yeah. It's a chomper sign when it gets stuck. Uh, and it broke free quite quickly. Uh, there's no more... Uh, there's a flip bridge, it, flip, it flips, and bridges. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, I just want to make sure there's no other gems behind that tree. It doesn't look like it, but... You can never be too certain. I don't see anything, though, so I think we're safe. Right, let me go and save again. So here's some pop magic. So I can turn it on. Oh, there's some rainbow coins. Uh, and there's a rainbow gate. Sweet. What the heck is that? What is that? It's like a gigantic squid. Was that what I was seeing over here? I don't think so. They're firing, like, scourges. I have no idea what that is. Okay. That's a UFO, hello. Oh, pff, a coily got down here, bruh? Bruh, okay, well. That's uncool. Um, okay, can I rotate? And that didn't help, okay, hang on. Okay, so what's the right way to do this? I think it's just rotate, 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 pop. Seems good. Okay. Next puzzle contains red crabs. They're like squitters, but they go to water and make bridge. They make bridge babies. Anyways. Uh, I gotta use pop magic here. I don't know what this button is for. What the heck? What happened there? Oh, that's, the stupid coily came down. Did he? I thought the button was already... Oh, no, it rotated. He came down and rotated it. Dang it. My coily needs to be killed with fire. Okay, push button. Get money. <clears throat> and I think we're done. I don't think anyone needs to push the orange button anymore. Save game. Save game. Are you sure? Maybe just to prevent the coilists from somehow coming over here. But no, there's a there's a tentacle that will prevent them. Okay, what's up, ice flowers? Was good in the neighbor. Hood. Alright, there's a red key right here. Oh, the, I guess I had a glow gem in my inventory before. I don't know. Well, right now the crabs are frozen. Um, were they frozen at the start? They were not. That seems like a little bit of an oversight. Because you're going to be coming over here and... So I, just, I guess you just got to make sure that the crabs don't get frozen somehow. Uh, how? I don't know. If I load right here, are they frozen now? One of them is, and I think I need both of them. Hang on. Uh, I need at least one. Is all I can say with certainty. So if I load from here, are they both frozen? No. But if I stand right here, it gets frozen. Okay. Noted. So if I change my positioning, it should be un... Not frozen. Nope! Still gets frozen right there. What about... 
here. Yes, that's safe. Okay. Still good? Still good, okay. Just gotta make sure they don't aim over at the crab. Also gotta make sure that the, the coilies don't come over. We're still good? We're still good, okay. Save again. Okay, so that makes a bridge that I can cross. Oh gosh. Uh, save again. These are ice curves. So I just gotta be careful when slip sliding around. And expertly get frozen in an icicle. Cool. Cool. Okay, good. Dodge at that time. We can't catch me, nerds. Uh, I can choose violence. I'm pretty sure this just makes me slide in the water. Yeah, it does. Uh, how am I supposed to get out of here? Oh, wow, they just froze uh, one another. That's funny. Okay, here's the violence pad. I should be able to go back over here. Yes, okay. Goodbye. Oh, that just leads to water. Okay. Noted. Uh, so you're dead. Uh, this should be good. I got all the gems, right? Looks like it. So I just need to go back over there. Okay. Woo! Woo! Alright. Making sure again. I think I got the gems. Yeah. I guess it's like a glitched UFO because it's acting like a UFO. Interesting. Okay, there's a whole bunch of baby boomers and also another retextured thing. What is that? I have no idea what I'm looking at next to the baby boomers. Huh. Uh, well, anyways. The next puzzle requires you to explode some kabooms, but beware from the UFO. Gotcha. Let me just go ahead and explode this barrel real quick. And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And this one. Okay. Oh, and this one. Uh, but now I wish I could explode the freaking fracking. If I didn't use the pow magic on the on the ice fire, then I would be able to kill the UFO. Uh, I feel like cheesing it. I'm just gonna. Actually, no, I could probably, um, I could probably kill the UFO with, uh, well, now it's gonna kill me. Loading. Oh, I didn't even save. Okay, hang on. I might be able to get away with doing this. There we go. <laughs> didn't mean to slide on the ice, but I could have done that without, so I'll just keep going. Wait, what? Is that, is that a one-time charge? Well, apparently so. Interesting. I don't know how you enable that setting. Okay. Uh, well, does that mean I can get away with not killing the ice flower? I don't think so, because... Otherwise... Yeah, that happens. I can't really get the gem that's across from it. So I think I do have to kill the ice flower. Uh, no hard feelings. Oh, but also I messed up again. Can I, like, game my way through? Not really. Oh, wait. There we go, made it. Sweet. Alright, so I won't have enough pow magic. Gosh dang it. I won't have enough pow magic to, uh, 
kill the UFO, but that's fine. Give me a refill, dude. Oops. Well, I literally can't do that. I was gonna save right after that, but nope. Can I get away with not killing the Ice Flower again now that I have a different strategy in mind? I go like this. Uh, and then like this. And then like, whoa. And then like, whee. And then like, nope. Um, boink. Boink. Whee. Nope, still that works. Still doesn't work. Uh, up. We wait. What worked before? I there was another way. Oh my gosh! Freaking snipe me! Right. Okay. Let me do this. that. I swear there was a way to, for me to get over to that gem without having to kill the ice flower. Bruh, he sniped me again. Them skills. They pay the bills. I can't exactly slide diagonal now. Alright, forget it. I'll just kill him. Fine, 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 fine. I will kill. I will murder. I will do it. For, complete, for sake of completing the level. There we go. Alright. Oops. Uh, okay, so I do this. There we go. Okay, now I can't mess any of these up. Uh, oh. Save, game. Save game. There we go. Okay, now I can get a buddy out of here. In fact, I think these... Um, I mean, the UFO ignores firing at them. I don't know if they're able to trap the UFO. Can you do that or do you die? Do you die. Okay, never mind. Uh, I have to use the bathroom again. I've been drinking a lot of water. So I will be right back again. Alright, I am back once again. 
Alright, so I can't have the baby boomers block the UFO. But I think they can kill the UFO. What is this? It's a freaking kaboom stinker. Hang on. There we go, owned. What it what 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 are you? You're like a kaboom stinker. That's what you look like. Why do you exist? I don't know. You're weird. Okay. Uh, do I have to use all of the baby boomers actually? There is six there. Um. How do I get the coins? I have no idea. Uh, there's currently five boomers with lit fuses. Which means I was not supposed to do that. Okay. I just don't want to have to deal with the UFO, though. Ugh. But maybe I'll have to. I'd really rather not, though. <laughs> Is there, like, a way to not collect... Not ki not use my pound magic for this ice flower? That'd be really nice. Really neat. Really swell. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Okay, that doesn't work. What if I load from here? That might work. And then I try my best. Okay, what? Oh, I didn't know you could actually, like, run it into an ice flower. I thought it would just kill you. That's cool. So let's wait for him to fire, then. Neat. Still can't get the gems, though. Gosh dang it. Can't really run into him from the diagonal angle, though. Oops. Load game. Being a little stinker, dodging your every move. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Okay, you freeze you. Good. Now I gotta deal with you firing at me. That's fine. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm trying to get this orange gem without having to kill one of the ice flowers. So I don't have to deal with the stupid UFO. Magic, so dude. Uh, save. No, not yet. Well, yeah, I'll just do it. Whatever. Wait. Are you sure? Yeah. No. So I can run into you. Does that help me any? Not really. So let me have the gem. Let me hold it. I want to hold it. Uh. Don't snipe me, thank you. Hmm. Are you still gonna try sniping me though? Uh, can I do this? No, not really. What if, what, wait, what if I do this? No, that doesn't help me at all. Not in the slightest. I get it, slide-ist. Cause I'm sliding around. Jokes! Ow! <laughs> Wait, that might have actually worked. I feel like that would have actually worked. Hang on. Oh, well that happened. He just did that without any animation. Okay, sup? He's gonna freeze me. That's what's gonna happen. So I just need to be fast, I guess. He's gonna shoot at me. There we go. Miss me, nerd. But, gosh dang it. No, that doesn't work. No, no, that's gonna freeze me. 
Ugh. Nope. What the heck am I supposed to do about this? I don't know. Was it this? Oh, oh, it's this. Oh, heck yes. Okay, so I can hold on to the power magic then. Sweet. See ya, nerd. Uh, what now? I just need past you. Hey. There we go. Okay. We're good. Now I can kill the UFO. Save game. So I can save right here. Are you sure? Now I can kill the dang UFO. Alright, Yufu. Yufu! You gonna die. Boom. Just gonna get you all out if I can. Oh, I guess I can't. I'm not even making any sounds. Oh, now they're all following me. Okay. Uh. <coughs> I only need some of them to follow me, though. And they're all following me. Okay. Um. Well, it's gonna get confusing real fast. Here. Okay. Uh. These ones. There we go. You go over there. Explode. Freak of nature. What the? Oh. I see, because it explodes right back in his face. Oh my gosh, okay. Don't know why the... Okay, whatever. Never mind. Alright, you're still dead. Alright, whatever. I'm just going to do one at a time. Uh, this guy who's following me right now can not. There we go. It's coming down. Okay. You explode right here. And then move. Gosh dang it. That didn't even work. It didn't even hit the powder keg. Did I save? I didn't save. Cool. Okay. I just like... No, I'm not going to be impatient. There. Bad. Save. Okay, now this guy is going to explode. Right here, right? Like, it, this should work? No, it doesn't go past the wall. Dang. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, what are you supposed to do about that? Are you supposed to use POW magic for that? You can't really explode from a distance. It's not possible right there. So I guess you're supposed to use POW magic for that. So the POW magic that you would have used... I guess you would use a baby boomer to kill the UFO and then for this particular powder keg, you would explode it with POW magic. Okay. Okay. That'll do. Okay, so I don't kill the UFO with power magic. So I actually was supposed to um, not use any power magics on the uh, ice flowers. What the heck is happening here? Okay, so let me just go ahead and save here. So this guy is going to kill the UFO. Too late. Try that again. There we go, he's dead. Okay. Now you go over there. You go over there. You come with me. 
save again. Are you sure? Hello? Wait, no. I this is where I use my pal magic. To go through walls. Yep, okay. So now that's safe. Now, this will be safe. You explode from here, and the powder keg won't reach you. There we go. Okay. So now you go back over there. Alright, next. Uh, you don't have a fuse. Next. Come with me. Alright, go explode. Next. 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 Come with me. There we go. Uh, you go explode. Now there's gonna be an exit there. Uh, I'm assuming I don't really need them for uh, this area over here. Don't know why I would. So I think we'll be all good. I think they could just exit right here. So you come with me. And then you march on forward and you explode. Go from there. And then you can go ahead and exit. Follow me, little dude. You freak of nature. <laughs> Oops, I sent him to a spot that he can't actually go to. Uh, I want to know how those coins are supposed to be gotten. You can just go next to it. Is it a bridge? No. It wouldn't happen to have been that conveyor button I put, that brown button I pushed, would it? Also, there's another gem that I missed. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I have to reload a lot of the level just to get that. Oh my gosh. So, let me get this straight. I'm right here. I push this button. No, there's no bridge. Is there a bridge now? No. How do... What? How do I get the coins? How are the coins gotten? I don't have any magic that I could, uh... Unless the red key works for that? Yeah, on, load game. I didn't save what I was doing. But it doesn't matter, I'm gonna have to, uh... Go back and get that gem anyways. The one that I missed. But I'm just wondering how are you supposed to get, uh, the coins. That's what I'm wondering. You go over there, and you explode. He explodes, and we're so happy. Well, here's what I'm wondering, and I don't think this actually ever works. But yeah, okay, so I can't use that red key there. I don't think I use it anywhere. Could I backtrack? I might be able to backtrack over to get that gem. No, I wouldn't, because the... Right, Mr. Potato. Uh, oh, I see a bridge right there. I don't know what that's for. I think that collapse. I think, uh, 
it was intended for you to cross it diagonally this way, and that that bridge uh, collapses the flip bridge. Uh, what I don't know is how the heck am I supposed to get the coins? There's no burn magic that I can use. Uh, is there a dragon turtle somewhere around here? That's not a dragon turtle, I know for a fact. It's a UFO that shoots at me. Maybe it would work, I don't know. I don't think that... That's that's a UFO, not a dragon turtle. Um, am I seriously supposed to use a second crab? Am I seriously supposed to use a second crab for the coins? That is freaking ridiculous, if true. Oh my gosh. Probably, though. That's probably what you're supposed to use a second crab for. I can't believe that was a thing that was thought of by a human being. Well, this adventure is going to take me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. It's already taken me a while. <laughs> but nobody said this was going to be easy. Um, okay, well, in that case, I need to make sure that do I seriously need to bring the crab over with me? Is that what it's implying? Because if so, huh? What? How? How do you bring a crab all the way over? I don't think that's what it wants, if I'm being honest. But it's the only solution that I see to get the coins. Huh. So that squitter right there, that misshapen squitter, is definitely a UFO, not a dragon turtle, I believe. So if I go back up this path, it would shoot at me. Yeah, it shoots at me. Also, I almost got sniped again. Oh, that's a fake ice tile. <laughs> All right, well, I think I'm gonna have to use this crab. Oh gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, I have to restart the entire thing. Okay. <sighs> Man. What a tough adventure this is. First of all, there's a... Oh, and it's already frozen. It's already frozen? Hang on. What am I supposed to do about that then? When does it get frozen? Is it when I'm coming down right here? So it shouldn't be... While I... Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna come down and see what the crap status is. Okay, here I am in the world. Saving my game. Crab is frozen. Literally, how does that happen? The ice flowers weren't aiming at me. What happened there? And what happened? What? Yeah. Okay. 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 I get it. Okay, crab is frozen, or not- crab is unfrozen, crab is frozen. What? What happens to that one short step that causes the crab to be frozen? Oops. It's already frozen. Come on, let's go. 
So, crab is fine. Crab is fine. Ice flowers. Firing at me. Crab is frozen. That means that's programmed somewhere is something that once I step, once I take my first step right here, the crab, they fire a spell ball at the crab and he becomes frozen. I don't even with this. But now that begs the question, how am I supposed to get the coins? I thought that's what you use the second crab for. Uh, you have to use the pow magic, don't you? You have to use the pow magic to thaw the crab. Oh no. Okay. Wait, I don't think you can do that actually, because you need to use the pow all the pow magics. Hang on. <laughs> Let me just go down further. Now. Okay, let me go down for further from here. I can't believe it's like a thing that specifically freezes this crab, dude. What the heck? Anyways, um. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. I definitely need my pow magic for this barrel. Um, or maybe I'm supposed to use the UFO to. Uh, wait. I don't think there's anything that I can do to block the UFO unless I use the crab that I bring up from here. So if I use one of my pow magics to unthaw the crab and use it to get the coins, is that really the solution? I... it has to be, right? I don't think there's going to be any bridge events when I'm about to complete the level. Here, okay. Uh, well, I have to restart the level anyway because of this gem right here. Oof. <coughs> So this really is going to take longer than I thought it was going to. Um, the UFO... Oh, okay. The UFO, uh, if I have it shoot at me right here, it can save me a POW shot. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. UFO shoots this barrel. Uh, seven, eight... Nine. I think I'm seriously supposed to use my last pow shot for the crab in order for it to travel on the ice, uh, come down through here, and make a bridge. What the heck? For lack of a better word. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's going to be quite the adventure. Again, not sure if that's intended. If it is, holy crap. Also, I don't know where the quillies are. There's definitely no no gems behind that. Also, there's a quilly back here. Um, okay, well, he decided to come up and kill me. Loading. Uh, okay, um, I think I just load from here and uh, come over and get this gem right now. There, okay. Okay, dude, if you want to come out, say say it. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, but also, yeah, that's gonna happen. Uh, but I can. That's okay. I can do this. Really? You are on thin ice, Mister. There we go. Oh my gosh. These coilies are so annoying. Move. There we go. I know, beware of coily. 
Okay, save. Save game. Are you sure? Uh, still gotta make sure that the other crab doesn't get frozen. So if I stay stand right here, we're good. Okay. Still good. I think we're good forever. Okay. Save. Uh, here, sure. I'm just gonna keep these here just because I know I'm gonna have to chase the crab through here. Okay. Save again just in case. Point? So yeah, you go right there. Don't freeze me, bro. Okay. Um Red key. I still don't know what that's for. Alright, that's not me. <laughs> I was just standing still. What is a red key for? That's what I want to know. Oops. I want to say. I really want to know what the red key is for. Okay, so this. So, dudes. I want. Yeah, I want you two guys to freeze one another. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, now when I get the POW magic, it's a one-time use. Whoa. And I need to use it on the crab, I think. Hi. Save. Are you sure? Uh, gotta figure out a strategy for actually getting over there. I think I had it before. Yeah, I, I had a strategy. Uh, I need to. Okay, well. Okay, well, here's my question then. Do I slide up from here? No. Because that just kills me. I need to be able to come back over to where the crab is. So I think I do it like this. Not like that. Hang on. Load Let me just load. Boink, boink, boink. Okay. I'm going to thaw the crab. Oh gosh, this sounds too ridiculous. There's gotta be like a bridge event. Okay, I'm going to make a save on slot one, which is going to be important. I'm just gonna keep it here just in case I don't need to thaw the crab. Because it just sounds too ridiculous that I have to use that to get the coins. So I'm just going to hope that there's some sort of like secret bridge event later in the level. Should I do that? Hang on, let's, let's just try the crab first. Maybe it might be easier than I think it is. Okay, hang on. Save. Uh, save here. You go across. Never mind. Why did you? Okay. Okay, save. Right here. No, I can't do that. Ugh. Hmm. I need to back away. Oh, well. I need to back away from the crab at the right time. I don't like the ice flower. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, so the ice flower still can't get me. That's good. Okay. Bruh. 
Bra 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 bra. Brr, bra. <laughs> Okay. Do I have to go back up and chase it to down? This just sounds too ridiculous. I mean, maybe. Just don't freeze it. Thank you. No, this is too ridiculous. I'm just going to uh, use this load. Um. I have the strategy for getting that gem, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, that's not it. Excuse me. That's close. Um. Okay. Save. Are you sure? No, that wasn't it either. Gosh dang it! What was it? Hang on. Load. It was right here. I was, I was standing right here. Then what? Then what did I do? Um. No. I did something. What did I do? It was like a really long process to get that gem. But I wait. Was I sliding back over here and then I was falling? Uh, boink, boink, boink. Uh, doink, boink, nope. Uh, boink, boink? No. Gosh dang it, I messed it up. Ugh. Just want that gem, that purple gem right there. Oof. That's not death, so that's good. Oh wait, can I do this? No, gosh dang it, the tree's in the way. <laughs> gosh dang tree. Uh, so from here, what to do? I do not know. Maybe this? Nope. Uh, okay, um... What to do, what to do. What woo? Literally where I was said before. Okay. Um Can I do this? No. Absolutely not. Why would you? What was my strategy for the, getting this gem? I know I had one. I don't remember what it is though. Can't just slide and get it because dead. Ugh. Slide up like this to get this gem. Don't, don't freeze me. Okay. What the heck was that interaction? That was weird. So, dude. Dang it, what was my strategy for getting that gem? Erg. I need that purple gem. I need it. I need the precious. Strategy for getting that gem. I thought I had one. 
I definitely thought I had one. Uh, so purple jumps position is right there, so I have to slide from here would do it. I don't think I can get there though, unless I slid diagonally from. Oh, from there. Oh, whoops. Beautiful. Could have done that a while ago. All right, well, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways. Don't freeze me. Okay, there we go. I'm still really hoping for some sort of bridge event. All right, now I'm just gonna wait for the UFO to shoot a bar shoot this barrel so I can go ahead and keep it. And I have one spare POW charge. Go. I'll let one of the baby boomers handle the uh, UFO. So you come out. You are going to be right here on UFO killing duty. And I'm going to save the game. There we go. Okay, so save that. Are you sure? All right, I'm gonna use this power spell. There we go. There we go, I sorted them. <laughs> okay, so you go first. Then withdraw. You go next. Kaboom! <laughs> Okay, you explode this one. <coughs> and then finally, hang on. You explode the last one. Push the blue button. Okay, I still don't know how I'm going to get the coins. If it's the crab, I'm going to be furious. So hopefully not the crab. Hopefully there's some like some sort of hidden bridge event for whatever reason that will just raise that bridge so that I can just like come back to it. If you collected every rainbow coin in the level, the gates of the star should open. Uh, but we are from the CFO. The Deliated Tools program is still to beta, and we are sorry to tell that some stuff didn't convert to their models. Anyway, their function, functionettes, like normal, are for the inconvenience. Oh my gosh, I didn't collect those. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, um... Okay, I forgot to collect those. I will go ahead and collect them now. That was gonna be for the one save where I freaking. It's almost taking me a while. Are you sure? oh, yeah, yeah. Alright. So we get that. Don't freeze me, bro. Excuse me. How about you just freeze your bro? There you go. Freeze your bro. Alright, I can go and get this gem. Excuse me, hi. Go get this gem. There's a quilly up there. Alright, we. Uh. 
Hi. <laughs> Can't catch me. Okay, save again. Right here. Alright, I'm just gonna stand right here. Uh, not important enough. I can just, uh... Music boom. Kill you. So you stand right here. Save here. Are you sure? There we go, kill him. Save again. Alright, you go here, you go here. You follow me, you go here. You follow me. Here. <laughs> Here, hang on, let me uh, do this first. Are you guys follow me. Boom, okay. Explode this. Sweet. You go over here and explode. There we go. Should these guys be following me. Okay. So I've gotten quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on this level. Okay. Then uh, you go up here, I'll just stay right here. Yeah, you can't text it, right? Yeah. Get away from me. <laughs> no, don't. Go over there. Save. Save, 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 save. Sure. <coughs> Okay, now I have collected all of the rainbow coins. Um, I'm really hoping for some sort of bridge event for the coins, but I don't think it's going to happen at this point. But let me try destroying all of the power cubes to see if that'll work. Why are you going down there? Um, that's going to run into every single one of my, uh, Wii Stinkers and kill them all. And it shoots at me, so... Oh my goodness. I mean, it's a UFO, so it's not gonna do anything for the coins. What do I load? Uh, right here, I guess. Can't do anything to get to those coins. Um, here, I'm just gonna have all these guys exit. follow me and exit so I don't get killed by the uh, cursed UFO okay that guy can stay behind and be alone forever <laughs> right I need to push the blue button I would actually get over there I didn't do that yet. Okay. Save 
Uh, gonna save are you sure? here. Save, are you sure? Cause I wanna make sure that all of these boxes are broken. And that might be a little bit difficult to do. Just gotta make sure this guy stays alive. There we go, okay. Uh, yeah, come down here. Uh, not sure I'm gonna manage that one. But I do need that box to blow up. Uh, load here, I think. Okay. Okay. Here, just... Yeah, that'll work. Okay, that's destroyed. Okay. Now, uh, save game. Did that do anything? Yeah, you can circle up there for all eternity. No. That did nothing. Follow-up question, what if all of the baby boomers exit? Does that do something? Does it raise a bridge? I'm so desperate, like, I'm desperately hoping that I don't have to use the crab in order to make a bridge, because I really don't want to have to go through with that. <laughs> No, it did not. That did not trigger an event. Am I really? Am I seriously supposed to use this crab to create a bridge? for the coins right here. Is that seriously what it's suggesting? Oh my gosh. I guess I could try doing that. I'm just surprised that there's like literally no bridge event or button or key. I have a red key still. That does absolutely no thing. <sighs> Let me go ahead and complete the adventure and then I'll reload a save and see if I can figure that out. some coins though, yeah. Got all the gems though, so that's good. I just need an indication for that. But do I seriously have to use the crab? I know for certain that I have to thaw it, because it gets frozen literally no matter what when you take a first step in your adventure. So where was that save? It was right here. And I get frozen immediately on it. Here, I'll just step out of the way. Um, well, I don't have the coins anymore, that's whatever though. I just need to go and get, uh... Go and get Pal Magic, I also need this guy to freeze. There we go, owned. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do all this again. I'm gonna get this pal magic. Hi. Oh my gosh, why do you have to fire there? That was such a freaking snipe shot. Okay, fine. Gosh dang it. 
I mean, hopefully I'm able to get the crab out of there. That'd be nice. Here, let me just... Oh, man, you didn't get your bro. You always gotta get your bro, bro. What I'm wondering is if I'm going to get the crab down here... Somehow. What is that Quilly doing? Why do the Quillies have access to this area? Why do you ruin my flip bridge? Here's what I'm wondering. I have to keep... <coughs> I have to keep the, keep the crab alive. Somehow get it to scoot all the way down here. Somehow. I don't know how, but somehow. Here's the thing, I think in order to get the crab down onto this bridge, onto this other crab, <laughs> um, wait, would I have to like get the crab to go right here? Would that be easier? Would that make more sense? No, I don't think it would. I mean, maybe. Oh gosh, if that's what I have to do, goodness. Goodness almighty. Because, um... Let me go back to this save. To this crab. I'm pretty sure, like, no matter what... No matter what you do, he's always gonna go that direction. I think. So here I am. Starling and crab. Get frozen. Yep, all part of the process. I'm pretty sure there's literally no way for you to, uh... So how many tiles is it they had to get within it? Two tiles? Okay. So no, ma no matter what you do, he's always gonna walk forward. So it has to be... right here. <coughs> This crab is stuck going right here. Okay, that actually makes me feel a bit relieved. That I don't have to pull some wacky shenanigans in order to, uh... And he's frozen. I don't have to pull some wacky shenanigans in order to get him to go somehow over to this water. Because it's literally impossible to do that. Okay, well at least I don't have to do that then. Ugh. But still, I'm trying to decide which one I would rather want frozen. This guy or this guy. The one I'm trying to get the crab down here. I feel like this guy, right? But this guy always ends up getting frozen, so I'm not sure. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, that's death. Wait, no, it's not death. It's wait. That would be bad. Here's my power magic. Um. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Why? Stop. Get some help. Oops. Uh, let's go down here.
I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna freeze this ice flower. I don't really know how, what you're supposed to do there, but... That's what I'm gonna do. So how get yellow? I think I was supposed to go diagonal at the start. Can't go up now because then I'd die. Hang on, let me load again. Yeah. Okay, this way. Hello, hi. Oh gosh. Uh, okay. Hi again. Why don't you guys freeze each other already? There we go. No? What the heck? How's one of you not frozen yet? What the actual heck? Okay, save. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, one of you is sure to be frozen right here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, then how do I get back up here again? Uh, I have to travel diagonal from here. How do I do that? Oh, maybe go up here? That could work. Whoa, I... Hello? Dang it. Load game. Bye. <laughs> okay, yeah, freeze him. Okay, that's good. No, I didn't mean to do that. I wanna go diagonal down right. Wait, that's not gonna do anything either. Yeah, it's just gonna do that. Okay. Hi. I'm trying to figure out how to get back up to the crab. Because I'm trying to save him for whatever reason. Ah. This gosh dang crab. How do I get over there? Go right here. From here, from. Wait. Oh, come on, that gets me. I think I see the routes. Maybe not. No, no, it's not wide. <laughs> Sliding right from here kills me, so that's not good. Uh, I think I see what route I'm supposed to take. I go this, 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 this. No, gosh dang it, I messed it up. Um, hang on. Like this, like this, like th no, not like that. Not like that, gosh dang it. Ugh. Just going everywhere now. <laughs> no, not right there, gosh dang it. Okay, mouse. There we go. Mouse controls. Control a lot better. Oh my gosh, I, I forgot to do a step. Okay, boink, 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 hi, boink, boink, wow, okay, uh, none of that. Are you sure? The Corleys have already gotten to the flip, oh, no, the flipper just safe, so no Corleys have touched it. Here's what I'm thinking. I thought this guy, cross the flip bridge. I don't know why I stepped on that. It's fine. When it was literally not fine. Do not step on the flip bridge. Is this my 
Did I save before? Okay, yes. Okay. Kill you. Don't step on the rotator button. Make sure no coil I step on it either. I can't kill them with my power magic as much as I wish I could. Oh, the Z-Bot is dead for some reason. Not exactly what I wanted to have happen. Um, so I want it to go... Oh my gosh. Uh... Where do I want it to go? Somewhere similar to where it was the other one was. So yeah. Um Again, if this is intentional, what the heck? I feel like I'm gonna have to ask Nasco about this level once I'm finished. Okay. Hello, Corley. Go away, Coily. Oh, now the crab is too far away. Gosh dang it. I need to make a save up there once I get over there. No rotator button and don't step on the yellow magic. So many Coilies. Okay. Don't kill me. Okay. Save. That's not what I wanted. But I have a save. Okay. Right, Coil is right in front of my business. But yeah, I can't get him to change direction. That's fine. I think he's safe right there. I think he's fine right there. Alright, these coilies. Oh my gosh. I want to kill you so badly right now, Coily, but I can't. There we go. That's perfect. That's so perfect. Are you sure? That is absolutely perfectly where I want the crap to be. Let me just get past the coilies. There we go. Hopefully the crap doesn't get randomly frozen. Oh my gosh. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. <coughs> I just need to be careful of when it's firing a spell ball. Or an ice ball or whatever. <coughs> okay, so it's safe right now. Okay. Should be safe forever now. And it's not. And it's not. Hang on. This one. Well, at least for more of a wall, the more save and load. Okay, so it's safe right here. All right. Yep. Safe right there. Okay. What about right here? It's dead. Okay, um, I think I know where I'm supposed to go then. The Corleys won't be much trouble, thank you. Okay, I heard a fire. This is a safe spot. Yes, okay. And now it's safe, okay. Good. Okay, save. Now comes the part I've been dreading. I need to guide the crab all the way down. Um, I don't know why I did it in this order because I think I just wanted to see if I could do it. But first, I need to do the barrel stuff because maybe the, I can put the crab in a safe spot so like he can be safe somewhere while I 
go do my business. Just don't freeze the crab. That's all I ask. Ow. Well, don't freeze me either. I need to put the crab... No, okay, what I wanted to do is... How am I supposed to... <coughs> how am I supposed to navigate the crab? All the okay, well, don't freeze it. But I need to figure out how I'm going to navigate it all the way over to the blue gate. That's what I need to figure out. Oh my gosh. Don't freeze the dang crab, mister. Okay, we good? We good. Uh, it really should have been this ice flower that I spared. I mean, I might be able to get the crab to cooperate if it goes the right way. It didn't go the right way. Cool. That's cool, too. That's nifty. And I've died. Okay. I was just gonna keep going back and forth like this. <laughs> uh, wait, how do I break this? I'll go this way, probably. No, I don't do that, because it's gonna splash in the water. <sighs> this. Okay. Don't hit me. Okay, I really should not have spared that one ice flower. Holy crap. I should have spared the other one. Or better yet, kill them both. <laughs> okay, this is what I wanted to do. Uh, get, get to go down? Okay, I gotta go that way. That's good at least. Let me save. Okay, get you to go that way, okay. Wait, I don't know what to get you to do from here. Can I get you to go... The other way? Whoops. Get me to do that. There we go, that's what I wanted. Um... What now? Okay. Hi. Save, Save again. Sure? Now what? I think I s I'm supposed to slide into the crab, but he's gonna go up and never upright, which is what I want him to do. <coughs> oh, this is what I was dreading. I don't know how I'm supposed to guide the crab. So he's always gonna go up and never upright, I believe. Oh my gosh, and he can get me from here. Okay. Is there just a spot that I can chill where you don't get me, please? Here, okay. Uh, I need some sort of strategy. So if crab is right here, is it possible, is it possible at all to get him to go over to the blue gate? That's what I need to figure out, because right now, where he is right now, I can't get him to do anything. Every time from here, without fail, he's going to go up and never upright. I don't know if I should have saved that, but it's whatever. That was a nice snipe. But yeah, he's always going to go up and never upright. Okay. Noted. Um, in that case... From here, if he starts right here, is there a way to get him to go? Okay, so if he goes this way and then this way, if he slides from there, I believe he, uh, I don't know what does happen? That's from here, uh, he'll wind up right there, which will make it go that way, that way, that way. Okay, is that possible? If I get him to slide like that, maybe. Let me uh, load no this save. Make sure. That... 
My spider doesn't kill me. There we go. <laughs> okay. There. Now I need to approach the crab from the right. Okay, gonna stay right here because this is luck based. I need him to go up. That works too, actually. I think. Maybe not. Uh, he's always gonna go down right, or yeah, down left. Uh, no, I think I messed this up. But just in case, uh, what if I do? What if I, what if I do this? This isn't gonna do anything. <coughs> and it's frozen. Cool. I, I don't know how that happened. <sighs> this ice flower is such a pain. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this, if the other one will be more of a pain though. Okay, that happens again. Is it always gonna do that? I don't want it to. I don't want it to do that. Oh, so my gosh. Uh, well, now it went that way, which is really bad because I can't do anything about that. I believe. Yeah, oh, well, what if we went this way? I, I think that would also be bad. Okay, so he's going that way again. Can I... He's already kidding me. How do you freeze me like that? Bruh. Okay, yeah, go that way. Can I use that? I don't think so. But maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. Stay three tiles away. That's two tiles away, never mind. I approach from um... not gonna work. <coughs> okay, I think I need a different game plan. I think I still want the crab to be right there, but I want to approach from not from there. No, that's bad. That's really bad. Slide up. Are you kidding me? Alright, can't get me. I can't do that. I think what I do is this. Slide back down. Save again so I have a better save. That also doesn't work. Actually, no, it does. I lied. No, this works. Hang on. Um... I just need to approach the crap from the bottom. Can I do that? Oh, I didn't want it to do that. What if I slide away immediately? That'd be... Hmm. No, not from there. No, I, d I didn't want to do that, I remembered. So it's never gonna go up? It's always just gonna go that direction? I think so. It always takes a diagonal. But I thought it like, what if it went diagonal this way or diagonal that way? That, that, that'd work too, I think. But no, it always goes one of the other di diagonals. Yeah, okay. Crabs are so annoying. Okay. All right. Yeah. I need to approach it from somewhere else. I don't know from where though. Slide up here. Stuff like this. No, that's not good. Literally everything went wrong right there. 
<laughs> that went wrong. Hang on, let me just load from here again. See if I can find a better idea of what to do. So, Crab's gonna be right here at the very start. Is there any better strategy that I can take? <coughs> so I can get the crab to go right here. That's like the only thing that I can see to do. So is there any way to approach him from the bottom afterwards? Um, if I take this tree and then I go down here. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, hang on. I just now saw it. I slide up. Wait, no, I gotta slide this way. And I take this slope. Now he goes that way. Ugh. Loading. I can have him get him to go the way that I want. I don't even know if this is possible. I don't know what the intended solution is. I want to keep trying for a little bit though. I know this is going on for a little while and nobody's going to be watching this at this point. But I just want to see if it's possible to get this crab over to the water. Because if that is possible and I accomplish that, that would be so satisfying. Not what I want, but whatever. What I want to do is... I actually do want it to go down here and see if I can do something about that. So if I do this... Literally the incorrect way. Hang on. Let me do this. Wrong way. Wait, no, that's the right way. Dang it. I clicked out of the game. Uh, wrong way. Okay, right way, save. Wrong way, load. Save here, so I don't mess up. Wrong way, load. Wrong way, load. Right way, save. Okay, now, if I get it to go up, and then left, and then down, and then right. That'd be perfect. Left. Thank you. Save. We're making progress. I'm dead. Hang on. I just... There we go. Dodge it. Okay. Go right here. Thank goodness. Save. Go right... Um, actually, I don't think I want to advance any further. And that happened. Because, um... I don't want to get the crab in there yet. So can I, like, not do that now? Or is it always gonna be- it's always gonna be in the way? Okay, never mind. And also, it triggered the cutscene. Lol. Can I get you to not be stuck? Okay, you're stuck. Okay. Um. Load the game. Load the game. Okay, so. I found a way to get the crab actually over to that area. But now... I want it to chill for a little bit. Is it safe right there? Can I actually get it out of that position? I think so. I can come back out of here. 
and work something out. So, hopefully I can get out of here now. Oh, wait, no. Okay, wait, hang on. Uh, we're back to this again. Okay, I just want the crowd to be somewhere safe. That's all. So that's a safe spot. Um, and I get him to go to, over to the left. Yeah, he's frozen. Hang on. <coughs> okay, so go down. Nope. Go down. Nope. Go down. Nope. Go down. There we go. Okay. Save. Uh, crab. Please be safe. It's not moving. Okay, so that's good. Will it be safe there? I think it will be, because I'm, I'm safe there all the time. Except it did get me at one ridiculous angle. Um, but can I come back afterwards? That's why I want to know. Why? That happened. I didn't even save yet. <sighs> oh my gosh, I hate this ice flower. It's so annoying. Just stop sniping me, bruh. There, okay. So now what I want to know is, is it possible to come rescue the crab after I'm done? Yes, because I can go back up to the crab from here. Also, it is not in a safe position anymore, so all, that's all I want to know. So this should be... Yep, okay. Let's us do this part of the level then. And hopefully I can manage to rescue the crab afterwards. Okay, so now I gotta use a pass spell for this. There we go. Uh, I'll do this part of the level now. Well, meanwhile, the crab is uh, resting peacefully right here. Can't believe I'm actually trying to get this to happen. <laughs> Gosh dang it! I was trying to hold the uh, button, but it wasn't doing anything. Because I moused off. Also, the glove is upside down now. Alright, there we go. So you come over here and explode. I need to uh, take care of this. There we go. Did I have an... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I have an extra power after all this. Dang. I could have killed the ice flower. In fact, I might still. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I need it for that. I completely forgot. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <coughs> it was as I calculated. I just made a mistake. Sort them. <sighs> All right, so you go in, you explode that. You come back out. You go over there. I can solve this level soon because I'm getting hungry. Okay. One last kaboom. Okay. Save. Are you sure? I didn't save sooner. Okay, the crab's still good. The crab is still good. I was afraid it would have been gotten the silly angle. It would have been frozen. 
Shoot, 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 shoot. I just realized. I can't press the button yet. This is still before I push the button, right? Yes, okay. I can't push the button because I need to rescue the kaboom. Not the kaboom, the crab. So let me rescue the crab. And he's frozen. Oh my gosh, he got the silly angle. <coughs> uh, not the silly angle. Okay, you go up there. Yep. Okay, crab's still unfrozen, right? Yes. Save again. I'm bringing the crab home. Hopefully. Okay, crab is still good. That's good. Save again. And now I'm just gonna make my way back. Hopefully like a boss. Okay, yeah, you aim at me, but never gonna work. Okay. Now, crab, go this way. Yep. Perfect. I might be dead, hang on. There we go. Okay, we're good. Save. Are you sure? Wrong way. Right way. Okay. Save game. Are you sure? No, this Are you one. sure? Because I might have. Okay, no, I didn't get the crab. Okay, good. We're gonna live, we're gonna live. Wait, save. Are you sure? Slot three. Wrong way. There we go, right way. The crab is coming home. Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd be able to get this to work. But it actually did. Um, I probably should have had a baby boomer stand right there, but that's fine. That's absolutely. I, in fact, I think I just I still be able to do that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna get you to stand over there. Make sure he goes in. There we go. No more running, crab. No more running. Yes. I got the coins. Oh my actual goodness. I can't believe I managed to get that to work. I have no idea if that was intentional, but it didn't feel like it. <laughs> it didn't, that didn't feel like it was intentional. Which makes me feel good about getting it. All right, push the blue button and we're gonna end this level. We're finally going to end this level. Oh my goodness. Save one more time. I just need to get the rainbow coins and we're good. Okay. Holy crap. <coughs> I got a gold. Oh man, that took forever. Okay, well, oh my gosh. I finally got that done. Wow. All right, well, that was satisfying at least. <laughs> Even if it was annoying to do all that, it, it paid off. That was a satisfying conclusion. Uh, I, I didn't want to end the stream uh, before that because I would have felt like, dang it, I wanted to get this done, but I finally did, so it is done, and that is going to be the end of the live stream. I shall exit to desktop, and I shall perhaps do a raid. Maybe. I don't know if anyone's still watching to raid. Eh, whatever. I'll just do it anyways. Who cares? <laughs> I am going to raid Hayami May, another VTuber, who is playing Just Shapes and Beats. So yeah.
Uh, make sure I got the username right. Yep. Okay. So if anyone's still in the stream, then I'm just going to go ahead and raid. All right. Well, that is going to be the end of this live stream. And the next time I play One Light Adventures, I'll do some more custom adventures. But for now, that is going to be the end of this live stream. So I shall now say good night and goodbye. Let me turn my volume back up. There we go.